Whoa, that was freaking powerful. <laughs> Thanks, Bungalow. You've been absolutely awesome. Awesome stage of the journey, really helping me together myself and build a strong foundation moving forward. But we're onward to another phase and another chapter. Self-development, self-discovery, self-expansion, and connection with you fellas. All of you guys bringing you fellas along for the journey. Yep, we've set sail from the island. Our brother Alden's come and picked us up. But before we head back to town, we're going to go to our favorite place. Say goodbye to the Moana. And gather some kai to take back for Alden's whanau and ourselves. Right, we're out of the Moana. And our intention today is to gather some kai to take back into town, uh, feed our brother Alden's whanau and put them away for our kai for the week too, hopefully. Just found a big school of whiting. Let's see if we can get a couple of those, eh? It was a welcome sight turning up, beautiful clean biz, and seeing that school of whiting from the surface didn't take me long to drop down, nice and shallow. One thing that I've noticed about these fish is that you can't rush in on them, they will just scatter off. So you've got to be really patient and wait till they come to you. A great shot and into Te Karakawaka it goes. We're back down on the bottom and now that I've taken one of the fish, the school is a lot more standoffish and they aren't wanting to come in close at all. Notice the goatfish just come in for a nosy. I don't feel confident with taking any of those shots, so I just leave it and go back up to the surface and come back down and try again. Beautiful big school. Some pretty good sized fish in here as well. I line one up and I take a really good shot. on from that location and I found a beautiful shallow spot with some good sized sweet. These are also delicious eating fish. This was a really good sized one too. I carried on for a little bit after that and just poking out the side of the weed edge I made shape of this massive stingray. I was hopeful that it was the stingray that I'd seen there a couple of dives before. Big pregnant stingray. So I just took my time and I went down to check it out. Kinda of worked out pretty good that she was tucked up against the weed edge because this gave me some cover as I came down next to her. I didn't want to disturb her too much, so we carried on hunting for fish. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Uh, it seems like a really awesome way to leave the island, see that beautiful stingray once again. And then, you wouldn't believe it, the unthinkable happened. Beautiful, big, 
big mama turned up out of nowhere and glided right past me. I was in awe, I was stunned at her beauty, at the size, at the sheer presence and I was so grateful that she gave me this experience before I left the island. carried on after that looking for a few more fish and then made our way back to shore. Hey, all fine, eh? we are out of the moana. Me and the brother Alden have just picked up all the last bits and pieces from the bungalow and we've officially, are officially leaving the island. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Yeah. See you later. Right, we're taking um, the brother Alden to the office, to my favorite place. <laughs> we're gonna get us a kai, probably a bit of a chai. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> we scored us a quick feed from the island Whole Foods. And then we hit the road, traveling back to Preston and Melbourne. <laughs> we received a warm greeting from our brother Arama, divvied the fish up, said goodbye to our brother Alden, and then it was time to go inside and start unpacking. Mate, yeah. Mauri ora Nga mihi. I'm pretty naked. I'm pretty naked right now. I just had some toast for dinner. And we're going to close the vlog off here. It's been a massive day. Shifting all of our gear from the island into town. I just want to whanau, send some aroha and thoughts and praises out to our brother Alden for picking me up at on the island chucking all the gear on the waka and bringing me all the way back in we had such a massive journey on the way back it took us about three hours three something hours because the traffic was pretty hectic um so yeah just want to acknowledge the brother and and send him some collective waves of aroha through all of you guys out there too and your thoughts so mauri ora I uh, also want to actually, before we close, so I'm reading the comments from tonight's upload and uh, Wahine Carol, Ed, Carol Edmonds has asked a question. Uh, what significant matter happened in your life that inspired slash caused you to live your life in a more connected, inspiring way? I'm going to drop into that tomorrow when we've got a bit more time to share because I'd love to answer that question. Sis, thank you for asking. Highlight from today was swimming with that powerful powerful creation that beautiful hapu stingray i felt like within myself it was like a send off from the island it was like you know it was the kaitiaki of the island it was like a send off it was a saying goodbye it was a closing of that chapter seeing that beautiful stingray again but uh you know what to do whanau before you leave this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.